Welcome to our devotional study today. We are in Genesis chapter 25. In the verses I want us to look at today, we are going to see the um, death of Abraham as well as the death of Ishmael uh, recorded for us in these verses. So in Genesis chapter 25, and I'm going to begin reading at verse 7, and we're going to go down to verse 18. It says there, And these are the days of the years of Abraham's life, which he lived, in hundred three score and fifteen years. Then Abraham gave up the ghost, and died in good old age, and old man, and full of years, and was gathered to his people. And his sons, Isaac and Ishmael, buried him in the cave of Machpelah, in the field of Ephron, the son of Zohar, the Higite, which is before Mamre. The field which, Abel, the, which Abraham purchased of the sons of Heth, there was Abraham buried and Sarah his wife. And it came to pass, after the death of Abraham, that God blessed his son Isaac, and Isaac dwelt by the well Lehoi Roy. Now these are the generations of Ishmael, Abraham's son, whom Hagar, the Egyptian, Sarah's handmaid, bare unto Abraham. And these are the names of the sons of Ishmael by their names, according to their generations, the firstborn of Ishmael, Nebajoth, and Kedar, and Abiel, and Mibsham, and Mishma, and Duma, and Mea, or Massa rather, Hadar, and Tima, Jegger, Nephish, and Kedema. These are the sons of Ishmael, and these are their names by their towns and by their castles, twelve princes according to their nations. And these are the years of the life of Ishmael, and hundred and thirty and seven years, and he gave up the ghost, and died, and was gathered unto his people, and they dwelt from Hevelah, unto shore that is before egypt as thou goest unto assyria and he d died in the presence of all his brethren so as you come into these verses first of all we see the death of abraham in verses 7 through 11 and the bible tells us that abraham was 175 years of age when he died that meant that isaac would have been 75 years old when his father died and jacob and esau were actually 15 years old when their grandfather had passed away. And the Bible tells us here that he was gathered to his people. And this is said of six people in the Word of God, including Abraham, Ishmael, Jacob, Aaron, and Moses. We find that phrase about. And then we see, after he was gathered to his people, um, the Bible tells us in verses 9 and 10 about his burial, where Isaac and Ishmael come together for the burial of his father. And this is actually... The uh, last time that you ever see Isaac and Ishmael together uh, cooperating, and here they are working diligently to make sure that their father is buried, that his remains are taken care of after he passes from this earth. And then we see here that Isaac is blessed as he dwells by a well in verse 11, and that well means the living and seeing one. And as we look at that, we are reminded of the sim simple truth that that well was obviously named uh, remembering God, remembering who God is, and what a blessing it is to know that we have a, a God in heaven who is alive and well, that we have a God in heaven who is all-powerful, that we have a God who sees exactly what our needs are, and uh, that he invites us to come to him, to cast all of our care upon him, for he cares for us. And what a wonderful blessing it is to stop and think of that wonderful truth that we have a God who lives, that we have a God who sees us. And there are so many today who uh, believe in false gods, who believe in idols, who cannot see them, who cannot hear them. And uh, sadly, many times they are more diligent in praying to those false gods than we are in praying to the true God of heaven. And how sad that is. And then in verses 12 through 18, it talks about the generations of Ishmael. And uh, we see in verses 12 through 16, the sons of Abraham named. And uh, we're not going to list those names again, but there's a couple of observations that I do want us to make um, from these verses. First of all, in verse 12, notice how it says, Now these are the generations of Ishmael, Abraham's son, whom Hagar, the Egyptian, notice this, Sarah's handmaid, bear unto Abraham. The description of Abraham says here that his mother was the handmaid of Sarah, not the wife of Abraham, as Sarah had intended for her to be. And this description makes it plain that Ishmael 
is not the son that has been promised by God, but that Isaiah, but Isaac is the promised son, and he is the one through whom God is going to bless um, the descendants of Abraham and the nations of the earth. And then as we come through these, we see the, those people mentioned, and then in verse 16 it says, These are the sons of Ishmael, and these are their names by their towns and their castles, twelve princes according to their nations. As we come into this verse, it's important for us to understand that nations here indicate settlements, not a particular country like Canada, for example, but simply settlements. And the 12 princes that are mentioned here uh, in these verses, in verse 16, um, the 12 princes is a fulfillment of a divine promise. Remember what God said back in Genesis chapter 17 and in verse 20. Genesis 17 and in verse 20, we find these words. It says, And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee. Behold, I have blessed him, and will make him fruitful, and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget. I, I will make him a great nation. So when we see these twelve princes mentioned for us in verse 16, it's a reminder to us of the simple truth that God is faithful in keeping his promises. And uh, we see that here in these verses. And friends, we need to rejoice in the fact that God is faithful and that God always remembers his promises and that God keeps his promises. Then we see in verse 7 that Ishmael died at 137 years of age and was gathered unto his people. And notice their dwelling place. It says their dwelling, their, they dwelt from Havilah on the shore that is before Egypt as thou goest to Assyria. And he died in the presence of all his brethren. Uh, what a blessing it is that we do see, even though Ishmael was not the promised son, that God enabled him um, to die being surrounded by his family, being surrounded by friends, being surrounded by people who cared for them. And what a blessing it is as we go through difficult times in our life to understand that we have friends, that we have family that care. And beyond that, let me encourage you today that there is a God in heaven that cares. The Bible says in Proverbs 18, 24, that he is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. And he has given us a promise that he will never leave us nor forsake us. And what a wonderful blessing it is to know that our God is always there. Tomorrow we'll begin, as we begin to look at the second half of this chapter, we'll begin to see Isaac and his sons. And in particular, tomorrow we're going to see um, the birth of Jacob and Esau. And uh, then in the end of this chapter, we'll see Esau selling his birthright to Jacob. Have a great day.